Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics. We are going to discuss the subject point, subject matter in Tamil. This is lecture number 1.5 in the chapter 1, Thermodynamic Properties. We are going to solve problem in thermodynamics. So, we studied about various properties, density, pressure, specific volume, specific gravity and we have some equations for various properties. Using the equations, we are going to solve few problems. Engineering students, Mukhyama Uru Vishyam, Problem solving skill is very, very important for an engineer. And a problem ni yon the Nareya Podano. Problem Poda Poda da and the equations la and the equations required to calculate the parameter you can remember. So you have to solve problem on your own. Just listen to the video lecture. Then you take the problem and solve on your own. You can problem the government. You can textbook the problem in the problem. So, problem solving is a skill. It is required for any engineering student. First problem, calculate the density, specific weight, mass and the weight of your body that occupies 200 meter cube. If its specific volume is 10 meter cube per kilogram, take g acceleration to the gravity 9.81 meter per second square. So, first write down the given data, read the problem, write down the given data, volume V equal to 200 meter cube, small v specific volume equal to 10 meter cube per kilogram, g constant acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter by second square. Now, we will consider the first density, density equation is 1 by specific volume. So, specific volume is given, 1 by specific volume is density, it is very simple, 1 by 10 equal to 0 0.1 meter cube per kilogram. Then mass, we are given volume and specific volume. Mass equal to volume by specific volume. Volume is in meter cube, specific volume is in meter cube per kilogram. So, mass is in kilogram. So, 200 divided by 10 equal to 20 kilogram. Then weight, weight equal to W equal to M into G. Substitute pannaka M 20 G 9.81, 196.2 Newton. Then specific weight, small W small w equal to capital W divided by volume, weight by volume, weight we have 196.2 divided by 200 equal to 0 0.981 Newton per meter cube. So, density, specific weight, mass and the weight of the body, everything is calculated from the given value. So, if we problem solve the problem, we recall the equation. So, rho equal to 1 by V m equal to capital V by small v. So, m equal to w equal to m into g, small w equal to double, capital W divided by v. All these equations we are recalling. Next example, a barometer, the barometer of a mountain hiker reads 930 millibar at the beginning of the hiking trip and 780 millibar at the end, neglecting the effect of altitude on local gravitational acceleration determine vertical distance climbed by the hiker, assuming an average air density of 1.2 kg per meter cube. In a the problem, mountain hiker, trekking per hour, our yellow height to ponare country begin. Our start pana bode, the atmospheric pressure is 930 millibar. Our mudike bode, the atmospheric pressure is 780 millibar. Air density is 1.2 kg per meter cube. We have to calculate P1 equal to 930 millibar, P2 equal to 780 millibar, rho equal to 1.2. So, starting pressure 930 millibar, ending pressure 780 millibar, rho equal to 1.2 kilogram per meter cube. So, pressure difference. So, delta P equal to P1 minus P2, 930 minus 780 equal to 150 millibar. So, we have to convert milli. 
So, 10 power minus 3 bar, we have to convert it to Newton per meter square. Now, I recognize the number 1 bar equal to 10 power 5 Newtons per meter square. So, 150 into 10 power minus 3 to convert the millibar, to remove the millibar into 10 power 5 to convert it into Newtons per meter square. So, 15,000 Newtons per meter square. Now, distance climbed by the mountain hiker in meter of air column. So, delta h equal to delta p by rho g. In the equation, now watch. Delta p equal to rho g h. p equal to rho g h. Delta p equal to rho g into delta h. Number contributed given the delta h. So, delta h equal to delta p change in the pressure divided by rho into g. So, 15,000 divided by 1.2 to 9.81 equal to 1,270. 4.2 meter. Our claim on a distance on the all away, 1274.2 meter. So, from the pressure, we can, from the pressure measurement, we can find out the height of the mountain, height of the trekking, trekking person who climbed the mountain. Next example 3, the basic parameter can be used to measure the height of the building. One building on a height measure for the kill, I mean, upon lap. Barometer reading which can be given to you. If the barometer reading at the top and the bottom of the building, top of the building, 730 millimeter of mercury, bottom of the building, 755 millimeter of mercury. So, bottom of the building, the pressure is high. Top of the building, the pressure is low. So, male atmosphere alone, the male of poha poha, the atmospheric pressure will decrease. Other than Yavo school, you are crazy school of participating here. Atmosphere. Mountain like climb and climb and atmosphere pressure will decrease. That is why in the top of the mountain, by Himalaya trekking la we we find it difficult to breathe because of the lower pressure of the air. Lower pressure of the air that causes the lower density. Pressure decrease and density decrease. So the lungs capacity. So we require more we have to consume more amount of air. Otherwise, lungs will struggle. So, determine height of the building. Take the density of the air, 1.18 density of mercury, 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. So, calculate H1 equal to 730 millimeter of mercury, H2 equal to 755 millimeter of mercury, rho HG equal to 13,600, rho A equal to 1.18. Head difference, it is delta H, 755 minus 730, which is 25 millimeter of mercury. Height of the building in meter of air column. So, height of air column equal to rho into delta H of mercury column divided by density of the air. So, rho of mercury is 13,600 into 25 will be 1.18 equal to 2,88,135 millimeter which is 288.1 meter. So, the height of the building equal to 288.1 meter. Example number 4. The pilot of an airplane reads the altitude 3000 meter and the absolute pressure is 58 kilo Pascal when flying over a city. Calculate the local atmospheric pressure in the city in kilo Pascal and millimeter of mercury. Take the density of the air and the mercury as 1.15 kilogram per meter cube and 13600 kilogram per meter cube respectively. This is the problem. Pilot airplane is flying in the airplane. The altitude measured at an altitude of 3000 meter. So, absolute pressure 58 kilo Pascal. So, on the 3000 meter height, la, atmosphere pressure, absolute pressure is 58 kilo Pascal. Our question is, what is the pressure at the city? So, ground level, what is the pressure that you have to calculate? So, H equal to 3000 meter, P absolute equal to 58 kilo Pascal, density of air equal to 1.15. And density of mercury equal to 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. So, P atmosphere, negative pressure contributed to the P atmosphere equal to absolute pressure plus gauge pressure. Absolute pressure plus rho g h. So, rho g h is the gauge pressure using the head of meter, head of the mercury column, air column. So, this absolute pressure is 58 kilo Pascal, 58,000 plus 1.15 into 9.81 into 3000 equal to 91,844.5 Pascal, which is 91.84 kilo Pascal. So, the pressure at the ground level is 91.84 kilo Pascal. And in the, in the height of the mercury column, Hg, Hhg equal to this pressure divided by rho into g of mercury, rho of mercury. 
So, 91,844.5 divided by 13,600 in 9.81, calculating 0.684 meter, which is 688.4 millimeter of mercury. That is the pressure of the city. Fifth question. A basic barometer can be used as an altitude measuring device in the airplane. The ground control reports a barometer reading of 753 millimeter of mercury, while the pilot reading is 690 millimeter of mercury. At the height, look at the value. At the height, the atmospheric pressure is decreasing. Estimate the altitude of the plane from the ground level if the average air density is 1.2 kg per meter cube. So, H1 equal to 753 millimeter of mercury, H2 equal to 690 millimeter of mercury, rho HG equal to 13600, rho A equal to 1.2 kg per meter cube. Head difference, delta H equal to 753 minus 690, 63 millimeter of mercury. Altitude of the airplane, density of height, head of the air column, because atmospheric air, we are measuring at the, with reference to the atmospheric air, so head of the air column, rho into delta H of mercury column divided by density of the air. So, 13,663 divided by 1.2 equal to 7,14,000 millimeter, which is 714 meter. So, the height of the airplane is 714 meter. So, we stop here. So, we solved a few problem. Most of the problem are using the barometer. So, barometer can be used to measure the height of the building, to measure the height of airplane at which it is flying. So, that we have to understand. That is the instrument. Barometer is an important instrument for measuring the pressure. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in thermodynamics. Until then, 